Spidey is swinging back into action, but is a new director in the web? The Punisher is back in the streets, but is he a friend or a foe? Plus, Young Justice gets canceled, Joker 2 wows audiences, and Godzilla vs. Kong leaves wallets lighter. We've got all the juicy entertainment news on The Essay Files. Don't miss a beat. Welcome to the SF Files. We got quite a bit of news today. Yeah, let's start off. We've got some Marvel news. We've got some DC news. Now let's kick it off with some Spider Man news. Spider Man, Spider Man Four. We got just a little bit of an update. A little bit, a little bit. Looks like they're starting off. They want. They're going to start filming this year, come fall. And yeah, mm-hmm. looking for a release next year. They're, they're speeding things up, dude. They're they're moving fast. Moving fast, dude. It's been forever. <laughs> well, yeah. Once they get started, though, I mean. Dude, within a year of yeah. the whole process, I guess. Yeah, they're looking to turn it over in, in a year. It sounds yeah. like within mm-hmm. a year. Plus, I, I guess this is a little bit of a good thing because Marvel didn't really have anything slotted for this year, much less, I, I don't think, next year either, did they? No, this, uh, Deadpool. Yeah. Deadpool, you're right. You're I think right. That's, that's might it. be it. That's like, yeah, I think that's the only thing. Everything else was basically canceled, I Every, think. Yeah. And then Sony's the only other thing releasing anything this year. Mm-hmm. Do they have a show, though? For Marvel this year, I don't think they do either. Yeah, oh, I don't think God, so. Yeah, dude, nothing this going year on. Yeah. suck. Yeah, they had X Men '97, which was the biggest thing <laughs> for this year. Okay. I think that's it, really. Oh, man, mm-hmm. I don't think they have anything going on. Yeah, they're hurting, man. I, well, it was the writer strike. It was the actor strike. It just pushed everything back. And I do agree with you. I do wish that Spider Man Four was coming out this year, so it, it doesn't feel so far apart. Circumstances can't be helped sometimes, and that's just one of those yeah. things. We're feeling the, the pain train right now from everything getting pushed back. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, maybe it's a good chance for them to like step back, reevaluate what it is that they're doing and kind of pick up the pieces. Cause I mean, <laughs> the way that the MCU is going, dude, I am, I have no interest in it. They lost my attention a good while wow. back. See, I'm the opposite. I think like the Marvels was phenomenal. I don't know. Well, what if two was great <laughs> and that was fun, but they just had like the writer strike and stuff. We haven't had much lately. Oh, and Loki season two was phenomenal. I agree. Yeah. But no, oh, I understand. I'm a little guilty of skipping on that one too. I, oh, I still haven't even got up on Loki. So good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it feels like they're not putting out bangers, but I mean, kind of Loki, they kind of still are dude. Like the Marvels didn't perform well at all. It did horrible numbers. But mm-hmm. you, you and I, man, we went to go watch it, and we had fun. We enjoyed it. It's it's not a perfect movie. It's flawed. But I had fun overall. I thought it was pretty damn good. Yeah, I thought it was a damn good movie. Of course, Oop. the enemy, of course, very forgetful. Mm-hmm. It's not a main enemy, but mm-hmm. other, or villain, sorry, whatever you want to call him. But otherwise, the movie was fun. Kamala Harris was like the star of the show. <laughs> But it was a Kamala damn Harris. Good, uh, uh, sorry, oh, Kamala, yeah. Kamala, 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 the other Kamala, right. yeah, Kamala, Kamala, the, the other Kamala. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, that's an outtake right there for you. But uh, Kamala Khan was stole the show. She was great. It was a fun movie. Like I said, I rated it like a nine out of ten. I thought it was great. But mm-hmm. I do see where people the 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 villain was forgetful. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, I thought it was a damn good movie. Yeah, it was fun. I still haven't even watched that. That caught absolutely no interest from me. It went so under the radar, I actually forgot when it came out. <laughs> yeah. I, I had like zero it. like anticipation, dude. Like I only went to watch it for so so I could crap on it. And it turned out that I ended up liking it. I, I, I hated part one, the, the first Captain Marvel movie. Really? I hated it, dude. Oh man, I it love felt it. so rushed, dude. Uh, it felt rushed. I feel like I feel like some of the acting was kind of forced to, and the CGI to make everyone look younger. Yeah, but not the best. I I liked it. Like I love Captain Marvel as well, but yeah, I can see where it, it was also like a trip down memory lane. I mean, okay. seeing a yeah. old blockbuster and stuff, and yeah. just all the scores that you don't see. Radio Shack. It's like. <laughs> those things have been gone 15 20 years dude yeah. kids these days don't know what that is <laughs> <For real. laughs> they never will <laughs> yeah but uh i thought it was a good movie 
it has its flaws, but that was my main gripe about the Marvels, which mm-hmm. they tried to kind of explain in the movie where, I mean, there's like a 30 year gap. You don't know what happened in between those 30 years besides like the few Marvel mo- or uh, Marvel movies we have, but her, mm-hmm. you don't know what happened those last like 30 years. Yeah. Correct. And that was my biggest issue. And they tried to do like some little ghetto recap of, oh, she like kind of has amnesia because she went and destroyed. Spoilers. <laughs> she attacked the planet up. And evidently she developed amnesia from it. Mm. Kind of weird. But anyways, dude, I'm I'm excited for Spider-Man. I wish we had more details. I wish we knew. Well, maybe not know what villain we have, but who's starring? Or a story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 You don't know anything. Just that they're making it. Right. Is that really a bad thing, though? Um, it could be potentially, <laughs> but you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to think too poorly of it. Sony has done pretty well with the Spider-Man universe right now, and especially with him kind of losing everyone that he knows, kind of going to the base of what Spider-Man mm-hmm. or who Spider-Man is. He's custom homemade suit. You know, now he's living on his own, has no one backing him. I kind of want to see what they can do with this character now. Oh, I agree. Big time. Yeah, there's a lot of rumors they're going to go street-level Spider-Man, but then I'm hearing that Sony's like, no, no, we need. We don't want street-level street Spider-Man. We want the Avengers Spider-Man where he's up here. Like, like there's a lot of back and forth. And Yeah. I, I'm, I'm curious who's, who's going to win. It's probably, probably yeah. Sony's going to win. <laughs> I was going to say, ultimately, Sony. They're the ones. Yeah. It's their movie. Their, mm-hmm. uh, their, their okay. ownership. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, do you think they're going to do anything with Venom? I hope the symbiote is officially. Or maybe in not. The maybe not uh, Venom, but Miles. Oh, this yeah. could be the introduction. Maybe could be. Could be. Uh, as far yeah. as Venom, the the goop is in the MCU. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Yep. I still think they're saving that for Secret Wars, but yeah. We'll see. Yeah, and that's cool with me. I think so long as they kind of make a reference, like try to like give you a, a little tip on what's going on with Mm. it like it doesn't have to focus too much on it i don't think but i would like to see a little bit of a reference Mm, maybe like introduce eddie brock into this new one at least yeah that would be cool tease it a little bit yeah that would be cool yeah toby mcguire's eddie brock oh god no oh no (laughs) i know how much you hate him yeah we don't we don't recognize him uh yeah topher grace right Oh yeah, yeah. We don't acknowledge oh, that one. Oh Hard. yeah, that's my boy. Right I mean, unless they wanted to do the Spider-Man meme with Venom. Oh jeez, he, he might other. he might come back to Secret Wars. I'd be down for that for a quick uh, cameo, man. I'd, yeah. Just for a good laugh. I'd, well, I'd... see, we thought he might have maybe popped up in this last Spider-Man movie. Did we though? I did, I sure oh, as hell didn't oh, think this. In No Way Home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Well, I guess there were rumors. He got so. interviewed. He got interviewed and asked if he had any role. Of course, just like all the other actors that were in the movie, they denied, denied, denied. So, yeah, there was like kind of that little hope that dude, this guy might actually be in the movie. <laughs> so we got the Sony Venom Eddie Brock for what ten seconds, yeah. one minute, whatever it was, yeah. whatever it was, yeah. Although I do like Tom Hardy as as uh, Eddie, Brown. I do. I think, he, yeah, I like mm-hmm. it. He's great. He's great. The movies are yeah. okay, but he's a good. I like him, the actor, as Eddie Brock. <laughs> yeah, the movie, the first one, I really enjoyed the first yes. one. The second one, oh, they kind of fell flat with mm-hmm. it. They should have pushed that rating. Just you know, give it an R rating. Mm-hmm. Think it would have been so much better, and hopefully with. The third one coming up, I think it's in the works, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah okay. The third one in right the works, mm-hmm. something like that. I hope they push that R rating. Let's hope so. Yeah, I was honestly when when Venom One came out, I was like, "What the hell? Are you kidding me?" <laughs> but I ended up watching it, and I I loved it. It was it had its flaws, a lot of it, mm-hmm. but it was yeah, it was pretty good. It was damn good. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, Part Two, introducing Carnage. I loved. Everything else about the movie is like, oh, what? Like, what happened? <laughs> Part one was actually damn good. It was great. Yeah. Where did y'all like mix it up, get it wrong? Because <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, for sure. I think, I think they're making big mistakes, kind of like how 
Disney's doing with their MCU stuff, they're kind of killing off like all, a lot of enemies like really yeah. early on. Like a lot of the symbiotes come from the the the, the Venom symbiote, his offspring, and other other symbiotes are being killed mm-hmm. off. Like I think they killed off they killed off Riot. They killed off I can't even think of their names oh, right Carnage. now. Well, Carnage. Well, Carnage. They, too, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. They killed off Carnage, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, he's dead. Like what's what's going on with this? I don't know. They're they're killing off a lot of the other symbiotes really mm-hmm. quickly. Like there's so many more stories, so many that they could tell, you know. Yeah, and yeah. They're just denying themselves. Yeah, they're backing themselves into a corner. I think. Mm-hmm. Agreed, dude. Spider-Man Four. One more thing about it is supposedly, according to online scooper yeah. Jeff the Insnider, he he reported on the last one as well. Yeah, the Insnider, like that. Justin Lin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> among the among the names being considered to take the lead for Spider Man Four to direct, and he's best known for the Fast and Furious, like the big, crazy ones, like the yeah when they go in space and the high octane Fast and Furious. Okay, they're not all bad. I, 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 <laughs> Have you watched the last one yet? Uh dude, I stopped at like at six or seven, Ooh. I think. The one where they're in like Brazil stealing a safe and like pulling them around with chargers. That's like five or six, yeah. Yeah, yeah six. So I, some, something like that. Yeah, that was like the last one I watched. Uh, <laughs> seven and eight. Out of seven and eight are decent. Nine is I had to watch it twice to really enjoy it, but nine is like probably the worst one out of, well, sorry, besides two. Nine is probably the worst one out of the series. And then ten is phenomenal. I mean it's like nine out of ten, ten out of ten movie. It is the best one. Man, mm. it's so good. Are they uh, making a ten part two and yeah. then a ten part three? I don't think it's going to be part three, but definitely part two. Ten part two, yeah. Because they left it yeah. open with the cliffhanger. You still mm. haven't seen it yet, heavy? Not yet. Oh no, yeah. dude! I watched you borrow that movie like two months ago. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to. I, I just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, he's been uh, busy spreading democracy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, man, like there's a, I think it might be after three where like the, the Fast and Furious franchise takes a left turn. It just go, get, goes into like comic book realm where, where Vin Diesel's basically a superhero. He's, he's got superpowers. Dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're going like 200 miles an hour. He jumps off of a car, lands on another and he's like, unscathed <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. I, I mean they're fun crazy turn your brain off movies and, yes. and, and, and that's what they are they're just high octane just enjoy yourself just immerse yourself in the in that kind of reality and mm-hmm. i don't know if i want that kind of energy for spider-man I, you sure i don't know action pack i was about to say you've know. played the the video games yes. right like the the high-paced action mm-hmm. and yes. all that like that's kind of what i'm thinking might be going on and don't get me wrong, they've done really good with the action in the previous movies. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, if, if they can pull off like that video game kind of fight style in the mm-hmm. movies, that'd be pretty cool, I think. If they do that with... Uh, well, okay, I guess one of my, my one of the things that I'm worried about is... Like, Spider-Man, he's one of the most popular Marvel characters, right? Like, there's right. so many stories, dude. He's definitely top five. Yeah. He's, yeah, for sure. I think he's one of the most relatable because of the the traumas mm-hmm. and the personal stories that he goes through, the personal growth, those kind of stories that are told right. with him. And if they skip over those stories in favor of high action and more those kind of scenes, like, I'm afraid that they'll not portray Spider-Man the way that he's supposed to be portrayed. That's the only thing mm. I'm really worried about. So you think like he's gonna they're they're gonna skip out on the story in favor of that's the kind of yeah that's kind of my fear that, that this dude could do. Justin Lin is he gonna do is that? It, I don't know. Is it really skipping a story when you've already got three movies and then like five or six other movies he's tied to? We already got yeah. we already got three three movies all about him mm-hmm. and his growth to where he is now. Plus, like I said, he was in Infinity War, Endgame, Civil War. He might have been in something else. I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, you're right. You, there, a lot of growth has happened, but he just lost his Uncle Ben, his Aunt May. And, yeah. and that, there's more to be told. Well, I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, and then, like, 
I guess if you take away the base story of the movie, like it kind of just becomes like you said, turn your brain off kind of action mm-hmm. movie, which I mean, it works for some movies, okay. but uh, what you might call it, with a movie like this, that typically comes with a story behind it with a lesson to be learned. Do you think that would work in the same format? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, it is tempting to, to think of the, these insane action scenes with Spider-Man. It is tempting. But I mean, mm-hmm. who knows? I, I just don't know if this is the right guy. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> Moving yeah. On, keeping it Marvel related. Oh boy. As we know, Daredevil Born Again is refilming. They're reshooting. They were filming. From what I've heard, they were filming. They got like halfway. And they're like, oh, something's wrong. We're, we got to start over. And they went back and they basically scrapped most of everything that they have done. And they're kind of starting over. As far as I heard, and now, like, like, dude, like, this came out of nowhere. Frank Castle, basically off the mm-hmm. set of Daredevil, I had no idea that he was going to be in Born Again, at least not even in season one. Pretty badass, dude. It just came out of left field. They didn't even officially announce it. It's some dude, I guess, found them. He was taking a break off set, and he's like, "Hey, let me take a picture with you." He's like, yeah, and they took a photo. <laughs> yeah, that's, my, that's my Frank Castle. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that sounds accurate. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and there, there it is. There, there's this dude right here, a little panda pit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it took a wow. photo with him. Uh, Frank Castle's looking beat up. Looks like he's got a hickey on his neck over here. I mean, looks like Frank Castle. It looks great. You know, no, no outfit or anything like that, but he looks just like he did in the Netflix series. And looks cool to me. Looks good. Yeah, that, that's great news. I mean, we knew they were going to bring him in to something, or I think they're talking about bringing him in his own show as well. Mm-hmm. But him being back in Daredevil again? Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's just <laughs> great news all around. That's awesome. I can't wait. Oh, I agree, dude. And I almost don't want to say it, but okay. Go ahead. Just say it. Did you just watch the Netflix series? Of course. <laughs> oh, me too. Who, we got a, who hasn't? Uh, uh, guns, who probably. Hasn't. <laughs> guns, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I, I totally mm-hmm. did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big right, fan right yeah. here. Uh, yeah. Because it's, um, it's pretty fun, right, to watch Punisher and Daredevil in the first episode of the Netflix one? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh huh. So, so good. good. Yeah. Enjoy that. So engraved into my memory, uh-huh. right? Because I feel like I can uh-huh. see it. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So he's not in the first episode, but when he is introduced, oh, uh, but but I know he's introduced uh, somewhere in there. It's not in the first episode necessarily, but for me, it was like it was like the first episode because like that's when the real show started. Right? You know? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> no man, they, they they are badass. Like it's just great casting on uh, Netflix's part. Was they they they're the ones who cast them originally, right? Just fantastic portrayals of, of Frank Castle and Daredevil. I'm so happy that they kept them and brought them back for to reprise their roles. Same with Kingpin. It's just excellent, dude. All three of yeah. those. Mm-hmm. What about Iron Fist? Yeah, they can keep him. Oh, well, <laughs> there's a rumor that he might be returning. Oh. You know what? Maybe I, I, I think that the internet gives him a lot of crap. And rightfully so, like his series was the weakest one. I liked it more than Luke Cage. Nah. I, well, I for, me, for me, nah. <laughs> and that and honestly, Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones was probably the most boring one for me. <laughs> there, there was, it was, Jessica Jones was very slow. Yeah. It, it was a lot going on in this talking. It's more of a drama than anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I agree with that for sure. Totally different. All, all of those series are totally, completely different from one another. They um, were all great, though. Yeah. They, they were fun. Mm-hmm. And the defenders. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah the payoff. Yeah, it was. But yeah, maybe maybe it's just be, I, I the way I, I remember it, it's like oh he's the weakest one. I, I don't like Iron Fist. Maybe I'm, I'm just not giving him like, as much credit as, as he deserves. I guess I don't think he did that bad of a job. I I enjoyed season one and two, but I everyone crapped on season one a hundred percent. A lot of people thought season two was way better. I enjoyed both of them, but either way, I would love for him that then to bring Jessica Jones and him back. And I mean, it, I can't wait, dude. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, I, I did hear that maybe 
but I, I don't think anything official just yet. No, it's no official. It's just rumor. And I think he's the one that's like, oh, yeah, I'm back type deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Can't wait. Mm. Well, if but, anything, I, I just hope that they write better better parts for them. You know, at least to not be the weakest link. You know what I mean? <laughs> not to get that same turnaround. On the other side of the coin, DC's Young Justice. We've, well, this is a animated series. Uh, a bunch of sidekicks. It's I think Teen Titans. Maybe what's, what's the other one? Yeah, I guess that's it, right? Teen Titans. No, Teen Titans. Um, it's yeah, pretty much it Teen, Teen Titans. Titans. Yeah, yeah, Young Justice. Yeah. And I feel like there was one more, but I. But yeah, so I thought Young Justice had ended a while back already. Oh, it it did kind of. Well, the series kind of came to a halt. It came many out, times. It, yeah, <laughs> twice. Yeah, <laughs> I think they got to season three. And then I want to say they were in limbo, and then the pandemic happened. In season two, season they were two? in limbo. And then mm-hmm. season yeah. three, they were in limbo. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, and, and then they came back last year. I want to say it was last year, 2022. Yeah, 2022, they came back. They came out with Phantoms, and then they're in limbo again. <laughs> and now they officially got the call. They are canceled. We, the, the showrunner, what's his name? Greg Wiseman. <laughs> That's Wiseman. Oh, oh, Greg, Greg Wiseman, <laughs> the showrunner. <laughs> he basically he got on his on his ex account and um, nice. He, said, <laughs> he, he got on there and he answered some questions and pretty much confirmed, yeah, it's canceled for sure this time. Like it's not in limbo no more. They're done. The reason he gave was economics. He later in another post. Said it was Mattel. Mattel was not s- selling enough toys, and they lost their funding. Basically, that's that's what they were banking on, toy sales. Mm. So, I mean, sucks, dude. I I really liked it. I liked the series. I thought it was fun. It was a, a way to portray the the heroes, the sidekicks, uh-huh. and I I really enjoyed it. That was one of the ones that I was always interested in, but I was never really. Like, it was before I had any streaming platforms or whatever, so I was just trying to catch it on cable. And I don't know, it just didn't... I never really got a chance to sit down and just watch it from beginning to end. But it was one of the ones that, like, every time I would catch an episode, I'd be like, oh, cool, I need to pick this back up. And it just never did. Yeah. I loved the first two seasons. I thought the first two seasons were great. Maybe season three as well. I don't know. I don't remember how far I got. When... So, might be a spoiler. I don't know. When they kill off Superboy, then they bring him back as somebody else. That's the season I watched like half of, and I fell off. I couldn't do it anymore. Like, what made Young Justice great wasn't there anymore, and it was just boring as hell to me. Mm. But prior to that season, oh, man, it was fire. It was great. I love it. If, if I'm not- I loved it. If I'm not mistaken, I think you mean the last season. Yeah, that's, that's definitely the, the last one that they Oh, they okay. Had. Well, then the first four mm-hmm. seasons were pretty damn good then. Yeah. It, it was the a great first show. Two for, yeah, the first two specifically were top-notch. Like, you can't beat it. That's some of the best, like, animated cartoons you can get. Mm-hmm. Season three was, I remember, was fairly good. Not as great as the first two. And honestly, season three. Four, I guess, yeah, that that one. No, I couldn't do it. Like they <laughs> they destroyed the show for me. Yeah, it definitely took mm-hmm. a different direction in that one. However, I mean, like I'm still a fan of the series. I, I wanted to see more, but eh, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I didn't buy any figures. <laughs> oh no. no, no, yeah. Uh, and if this is what they were being funded, their main source of income. I mean, I'm not the only one. Nobody, nobody. Well, no, maybe not nobody, but. Not enough people. I'm sure. Yeah. But and, and I have heard that like like the toy sales is definitely like a lot of the funding for a lot of these cartoons. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, is he talking crap, crap, mega crap? Or is is there actually some truth behind it? Because say, for example, I think I want to say it was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The ones that were like, what was it? There was like back in like 2005 or something. Oh. Like it, it was a pretty good series. I like that series. Mm-hmm. They kind of try to do a Turtles in Time kind of season with it yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Well, I think it that one also got canceled due to lack of sales. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, when I first read this, I was like, man, I think there's more to it. I think this is a, the cover-up job. They're using Mattel as the scapegoat. <laughs> then I remembered, well, hold on. It's WB. They're broke right now. <laughs> Maybe he's right. Maybe they were banking on Mattel toy sales. But at the end of the day, it sucks, I think, if that's how it works. But, I mean, as much as I like the show, I'm not that guy that go go out and purchase figure <clears throat> I mean, dude, yeah so i was dragging them all <laughs> yeah I, yeah i don't i don't purchase anything either. yeah yeah oh yeah okay yeah, okay what, what? Uh, what, what was what, that what? what figure just came in less well, two weeks ago <laughs> what what yeah, like 500 500 price tag on it what, what was that so sephiroth <laughs> Oh, have you have you seen my diorama? I have. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, no, I got Tanjiro from Demon oh, Slayer. <laughs> Minarum, you you collect quite a few things, but but I think K specializes a little more in figures and and that statue. I've only and... I got a few Gundams, and then yeah, I, I don't. I mean, actually, I still have original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys from back in the nineties and stuff. Man. Mm. like the 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 little. Like pizza thrower vehicle. Oh yeah, I yeah. still oh, okay. I still have that. And I have all <laughs> all the stuff. Man, but uh, yeah. As far as like the last thirty years, I have a handful of Gundams, and then I have like my my Sephiroth, and then I don't know. I got like a few things. That's not my <laughs> stuff, right there. By the way, the the Lego Star Wars stuff. Are you sure about them in arm? Yeah, that's my brother's. <laughs> well, how, how how is it within your your expertise there? What getting into toys or figures and statues uh-huh. for specific uh-huh. likes and, and, and shows and whatnot. like niche, niche niche there you go thank you uh-huh. tell, 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 right. tell us a little bit about that dangerous <laughs> <laughs> fun expensive um it's fun it's expensive it is addicting and um did i mention it's expensive <laughs> oh yeah <sighs> dude oh i mean i can show you a couple of pictures of some of my collection <laughs> But I don't think I want to see that. <laughs> yeah, just uh, it just depending on what you're buying. Like it, you know, you can go anywhere from like a ten dollar toy to uh, like a. They, I think they just dropped. They they finally started shipping out like a a third scale shredder, which looks oh, badass. Man. But that thing retails for I think like I think like twelve hundred. Damn! What the hell? But it looks badass. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ah, I'm, it sucks, dude. But well, then there goes that series, Young Justice, canceled. Yeah, good show. Rest in peace. It is what it is. Rest in peace, bro. Yeah, something that will not rest in peace. The Joker, <laughs> the Joker. Yeah, yeah, we're getting a sequel. Lady Gaga, Harley Quinn. That's happening still. It's a musical. <laughs> yeah. Musical, yeah. And Kay's like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. So the Joker was one of those that I, again, you know, I, maybe I just have a weird taste in movies. I was not feeling it, dude. <laughs> I got maybe 20 minutes into it. I cannot tell you what happened in those 20 minutes. I was out of there. I was done. <laughs> Bro. Like people were, oh, it's so good. Yep. It's so good. Joaquin Phoenix. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure his performance was phenomenal. But god damn, that movie was boring. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely not your your typical comic book movie. I, I like mentioned at all. <laughs> I've mentioned it here before. Like it was a great movie when it comes to like PTSD and mental health and that sort of film and that sort of aspect. But as far as DC and the Joker and anything Batman related, I hated it. It was, it, it wasn't that. Thought. Yeah, it was like the poster child for a mental illness movie, mm-hmm. like you know, yeah, awareness, I should say. But yeah. dude, the movie was terrible. <laughs> All these people are all oh, greatest movie ever. It was terrible. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm, I'm on the same boat with you, man. I and I love Joaquin Phoenix. I don't know about Lady yeah. Gaga, but. The fact that it's a musical, no, thank you. The first one I couldn't stand, anyways. But this is a musical, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> and I, there's like two good parts in the first one. The very end, we talked about this. 
where he's like, I'm tired of acting like it's normal or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he pulls out the gun and kills the dude. And then the <laughs> other part is where the movie actually makes you think that Bruce Wayne might be his brother. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. dude, I like that part. <laughs> I'm like, well, this movie's actually making a turn. Might get be- it doesn't get better. It's that bad. <laughs> Uh, that was great. <laughs> yeah, man, it's just I don't know. I'm not really digging what what Lady Gaga's looking as Harley Quinn. The fact that they're trying to make this a musical makes me even less interested in it, dude. I have once again no interest in this one. It, it is an odd choice, a musical. I don't know. What was the the last? movie that was a surprise musical uh that actually was good damn it I just the marvels oh well, that had a musical scene <laughs> yeah had a musical scene in there but that was wow cool. guys <laughs> that was wait a, well the movie yeah. for me now i'm not gonna watch Dude, it. they talked about that for weeks not the whole <laughs> disney that like they uh, I'm disney sure we covered it on the podcast yeah too. they they purposely put that a bull crap in there <laughs> Oh, but then we have movies like Barbie. That was had a few musical scenes in there. That's that was the worst part of the movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. Bes- oh, sorry, sorry. Besides, I my name's Ken or whatever. <laughs> I'm just Ken. <laughs> okay, that was phenomenal. <laughs> but like the rest of the movie, the rest of the stupid musical <laughs> for it? No, nah, hell no, dude. Like I said, the first 10 minutes of the movie, I'm like watching, I'm like... <laughs> What the hell is this? Cra- How does this make a billion dollars? <laughs> well, apparently Joker 2 is getting these phenomenal raving reviews from screen testing. That, that, that. Yeah, but you can't really trust those. It's like Rotten Tomatoes. When you look at the, the critic reviews and then you look at the... the what is User it, the score. Reviews, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And like when you go to the Rotten Tomatoes and critics are rating a movie 95% and you go watch it yourself... And it, you know, the movie's garbage. Like you rated a ten out of a hundred. Yeah. Damn. I, I don't. I don't trust critics like that anymore. You just can't. Oh yeah, I, oh, yeah. I, I do agree with that. I mean, they said the same thing about the Flash, right? Oh the yeah, yeah. greatest movie ever. Greatest movie ever created. <laughs> greatest movie ever. Whew, man, uh, I'm glad I didn't pay for that. <laughs> I'd be pissed. I'd be suing. Oh, speak of the Flash, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. There you go, there you go. Big rumor. Well, okay, maybe not even a rumor. Supposedly, according to some some Twitter posting, if I'm not mistaken, James Gunn, your boy, Norm's favorite director slash head of DC, is open to the idea for Grant Gustin to return as Barry Allen, the Flash, in his, in his DCU going forward. Yeah, you know what? I never really got into the show. I know our little sister was really into the show. I know Minaram should. <laughs> what a surprise! I, I, <laughs> no, I just, I just oh when it came to these things, like I just I didn't have a lot of time. I'm barely starting to pick up like different things. I'm starting to pick up anime that I've been when, been wanting to watch. I've been starting to pick up shows that I've been wanting to watch. This is probably one. It's just uh, something that discourages me is the later seasons apparently become like really repetitive and it's the same thing over. But I'll probably watch the first few seasons, the ones that are supposed to be good. But from what I have seen, I think I've seen like like first maybe half of the first season. I mean, he's a good he's a good actor. Oh yeah, he, I love him as as a Flash. He was fantastic. Yeah, I, was. I know that uh, CK's not here, but I can't speak for him. But he was definitely huge into the show as well. He's a fantastic Flash, man. Yeah. Uh, far better than the Snyderverse Flash that we got. <laughs> oh, you don't like Ezra? What? There, there's, like, there's good and bad like the there. You don't like the There's good and bad there. The, the, the run was a little weird. Oh, dude. Um, He's all doing this number. I'm like, oh, God. I'm like, stop. I'm done. They, they made it look good in Justice League. He still looked like he was skating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, for sure. But I mean, when, but when you see him doing it like the entire movie for the Flash, when it's just the Flash, and he's doing it the entire time, and especially when like he lost his powers and then <laughs> he's trying to do it, like, okay, like, bro, you're doing it on purpose. I, like, I thought it was just the amount of speed that you're going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. But yeah, dude. Grant, Grant Gustin. Well, that would be the smartest thing for him to do. I mean, you got a bunch of people that can play the role, but Grant's experienced. He knows what he's doing. 
that show went on for what, like seven or seven, eight seasons? Yeah. 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 And it, I know they ruined uh, Red Death. Oh, yeah. Big time. Talk. That's not his fault, though. That's the show. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. The show just. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the show just ruined. There's Red quite Death. a few seasons that were phenomenal, though. But unfortunately, yeah. the, almost every season was the same. Fastest yeah. man alive, but he's not the fastest man alive because mm-hmm. the villain's faster. Yeah. Yeah. But it, he was a great Flash. I'm down for him. Join, I mean, they should have brought him in, at least for the cameo in yeah. the Flash movie. I agree. But it would be. Yeah, because they brought in Ezra Miller for the show yes. at one point. Yes. You know, for that one cameo. Yeah. yeah. It would be a smart play to at least have him not just rumored to maybe join, but to have him play a role or to be the flash yeah yeah I, I would be done for that i think he would get all over james gunn would get a lot of points maybe oh hell yeah. yeah the brownie points yeah. Newton. for sure yeah he might not get as much hate as he <laughs> is right now <laughs> yeah yeah i think you're right with that yeah the brownie points for that one because right now nobody knows what he's doing yeah Mm-mm. i don't think he knows what he's doing <laughs> I, I really don't think so either i think he he thought he could like just jump into the role and like take off running full on sprint so far nothing one one of the the big one of the reasons if i'm not mistaken that they don't want they didn't want to involve the the what what was it the arrowverse and with the movies Uh is like oh this is the movie universe this is another universe uh we don't want to mix and match get people confused if they casted grant do you think that that confusion would be there Dude, they already connected the movies to the show. Yeah. The CW verse is the multiverse, and they included like half the movies and half the shows and everything together already. Yeah. yeah. That's that's why when they made the Flash movie and they ended the that like weird Superman CGI BS, yeah. it was like, okay, yeah. this is weird as hell <laughs> and kind of yeah. uncomfortable now. <laughs> but mm-hmm. like, yeah, CW's already done it. Yeah. And they did it better. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It, but that's one thing I don't get. Why are people against having the show actors actually make a movie portraying the characters they play on the show? They've only done that like a handful of times out of like all the movies out there. Mm-hmm. But I don't see why they don't do it for superhero stuff. When you got an established character, an actor and a character that just fits as well as it did, like Stephen Amell. Mm-hmm. Dude, he's, I mean, we haven't really had a Green Arrow besides, was it uh, Smallville back in the day? Oh, yeah. He was a little kid. Oh, yeah. He was a little kid. He didn't really, it was garbage. But when you have an actor that great playing the role that good, why not make a movie with them? That's true. Yeah, so, they, can, they can fold it in some way, somehow, multiverse, variant, yes. something. They can make it work if they really wanted. Yeah. No, I, honestly, I think at this point, just just go for it. I mean, they've proved that in long term they can play the characters. Mm-hmm. For sure, just just do it. Pull the plug on it. You know, I agree. Well, I mean, pull the trigger. My bad. Not yeah, the plug. pull the plug. <laughs> yeah, kill it. Kill it. <laughs> kill it. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing right now. Just restart from the beginning. You know. That's, yeah. Again. Like I mean, he wanted to do a reboot anyways of everything, yeah. right? You might as well just jump oh. in fresh with established characters. Except for Peacemaker. That's <laughs> the only thing he's keeping. I'm, it's weird. I don't mm. know. This is kind of weird. I'm the fastest man alive. So, there's a new show that just came out on Netflix. Some of y'all might have heard it. Maybe not. I don't know. But it's called Three Body Problem. What's have you heard about it? it? I have not heard of it. I think it came out like What's today? Monday? Today's Monday, yes. Monday the 1st. Maybe it came out Friday, Saturday? Oh. Is that, is oh, that Wong? It just yeah, dropped. it's got Wong. Oh, he's in there? Okay. Wow. Yeah, Wong's in it. There's a handful of, like, actually, like, big-name actors in it, but Wong is the most notable one, MCU. <gasps> uh, Wongers! Right. Benedict Wong. Benedict yeah. Wong. Yeah. So, anyways, y'all, y'all haven't heard about it? No. I'm not. Oh. I had no idea what it was. I saw the preview for it. It is out there. It is weird, but it is out there, and it's great. Uh, The only issue I have, so I don't want to really spoil anything, but it's pretty much uh, it's kind of like virtual reality video game in it. 
mixed with like problem solving and a uh, bunch of scientists and stuff all involved in, in this clique. Half of them are like killing themselves. What? Yeah. What? So it's <laughs> out there, dude. The show is out there. The only problem is, like I was telling BB there before you jumped on board, mm-hmm. the first episode is technically episode one is the pilot. It's the one that's supposed to get you into the show and everything. It is so boring and so bad. <laughs> and it literally tries to like defer you from watching this show. But hmm. the show's about like aliens, pretty much. All right, I'm in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to to boil it down, it's about aliens. Okay. And that's all I'm gonna tell you. But watch the preview. If you like it, give it a shot. But I will tell you this episode one is very hard. To get through. It is so mm. boring. It took me three tries. And even on the third try to get through it, I was on Facebook half the time <laughs> because it was that bad. Ooh. Now, how long are the episodes? About 40, 40 minutes each, 40, 50 Ooh. minutes each. That's a hard sell. <laughs> yeah, that is. it is. Trust me. But once you get to episode two, about like a quarter to halfway through, it gets you hooked. And then it's like, oh, next episode, next episode, next episode. But yeah, it's mm-hmm. got these scientists trying to figure out all these weird stuff going on. Like one scene, literally the stars, like the sky and stars, like bright, like brightens up. It brightens up so bright that it's like, oh my God, you could, it's the middle of midnight. You're looking down and you could see everything because it's so bright. Mm-hmm. It then starts flickering. Like like a light switch, turn it on and off, on and off, on and off. And the whole world sees it. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. It's crazy. The stuff you see in it, it's a great show. You just got to puddle through episode one. But I don't want to ruin it, but it's about aliens. So, <laughs> Shoot. How many episodes? Eight. Eight episodes. And I think they're talking about doing a season two already because it it was like a huge hit the first few days. Damn. Yeah, I was about to say in like two, three days. Damn. Well, shoot, the boys got cleared for season four the first day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it yeah. was literally the next day they all taking pictures with four, 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 and it's like, damn, I guess uh, season four is coming. Right. Two or three years later, <laughs> an episode and a quarter that does fit in that one, two, three episode rule. Trust me, that first episode is brutal. Like, it is so slow. I mean, someone dies in it, but it is so brutal and so slow. Like I said, it took me three tries. The first two, like, I literally fell asleep. <laughs> now, I haven't finished it yet. I'm on either episode five five or six. I'm not sure. It's good. It's good. Got that uh, seal of approval? The, the, oh, yeah. Dude, the very end of the episode I just watched, it involves a boat. Holy crap. It's probably the coolest hmm. thing I've seen in a long time. Hmm. I'm not going to tell you. It's just a boat. Right. Boats and hoes. <laughs> Boats and hoes. Sounds good to All me. Right. So definitely stamp of approval. But like I said, dude, I can't stress it. Episode one. Oh, <laughs> if anything, if anything, skip episode one. Oh, damn. <laughs> it, it, is there... You know what? I might just like look up a recap or like a, a, a summary video on YouTube for like episode one. Yeah. If that's really what it is, I might, if I'd really, if it's something that I really need to get into, I might just look up a summary video because, man, the way you're selling it to me, I don't know it's, that I'm ever going to get through it. Yeah. I mean, it might be different for you. It was just, it was bad for me. The first episode mm-hmm. could not keep my attention at all. I was constantly looking at something else, got my portal out. You know, Oof. had it playing in the background. And then, like I said, once once episode two came out and it was about a quarter into it, that's when it got really good. And then at the by the end, I'm like, oh, God, OK, yeah, <laughs> next episode, next episode, Damn. next episode. Damn, dude. I'm looking at the Rotten Tomatoes, 78 percent, which on the tomato meter, which I don't really normally look at, but the audience score is at 80 percent. So there's got to be something there. Some, some. Yeah. It's it's unique because they put like these these like I don't even know it's like a helmet thing and it sends them into this like virtual reality world hmm. and but the thing is like it it like channels energy and stuff through your brain and all your neural stuff that you can actually feel the sand 
and they can taste the dirt. And mm-hmm. like when 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 they get like attacked or the sun comes out, they feel the heat and stuff like that. And it's like, what the hell? Hmm. It's like state of the art. It's like built like I don't know, two, three hundred years in the future type deal. Dang. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's cool. It's it's got some great like CGI stuff. It's got some great technology, all kinds of cool stuff. It, it's fun. But like I said, <laughs> you might have to skip episode one. It's that it, it, it killed me. I, I I technically never watched it. Oof. I've only caught bits and pieces of it because it was that bad. But yeah, I'm I'm hearing nothing but great thing. Everyone's loving it. Definitely approval. Gotta watch it. Hmm. All right, I'll give it a try. What's well, something else on my list that not that we're on the tomato meter? King Kong X Godzilla: The New Empire, fifty four percent tomato meter. Eh, but the audience score is ninety three percent. That's pretty damn yep. good. That's what you gotta look for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes people happy. That, that's that's usually what. <laughs> makes me happy you know that's what that's why i go off of the audience score more or less i haven't seen this one just yet i didn't intend to it came out on the easter weekend family stuff just didn't get a chance to go yeah. out but it actually did fairly well 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 it did all right it did all right it yeah. did all right yeah yeah it yeah. did all right uh domestically 80 million a debut for the weekend yeah. i think it did 44 million in china and the yeah. and the <clears> budget <throat> was 135 million so oh. it was only like 11 million short yeah that dude that's that's not bad yeah for e- for easter that's not bad at all yeah yeah especially people not going out yeah for sure i mean it'll definitely accumulate that much and then into profit zone next uh, week and week after oh yeah yeah, yeah. big time yeah um monster verse man it's actually doing pretty damn good again i haven't seen it but i want to the trailer looked great kong versus godzilla was fun I mean, yeah. I think- yes, I haven't seen that one, but uh, I'm, I'm just kidding. No, yeah, I I really liked the the Kong versus Godzilla, really good movie. I didn't really care for like the whole oh I found an axe kind of King Kong thing, <laughs> yeah. Whatever. But I mean, the fighting was cool. Like, just I didn't need story. I needed the monsters fighting. That was <laughs> that's what I wanted to watch the movie for. And I'm pretty sure that's why this scored so low with the critics as well, because they're like, oh, it doesn't have story, but it's a giant monster movie. That's what you were here yeah, for. That, that's, yeah, we want the kaiju fights. Yep. Yes. Are critics really critics anymore? Do they get most of the movies wrong anyways? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah they do. Yeah, during the Oscars, I didn't recognize one of those films. <laughs> Everything. Exactly. Exactly. The, the ones that I did look, I was like, "This looks boring. I don't want to watch this." <laughs> like it just, mm-hmm. I didn't want to. I held no interest in there. Yeah, no. But I agree. But yeah, man, this I'll eventually go check this out. It looks, it looks zany. It looks fun. Uh, I was reading another article saying that the, the the director was inspired by anime. They're just trying to bring that. <laughs> yeah, bring the, the that crowd in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. So I mean, there, there's a there's a market there. They, they know who they're catering to. So I would imagine yeah. that this is just a good fun movie to go check out. I, I, this is something I, I I do want to check this out in theaters. Get that experience. Get that. It's just one of those. It's like you just have to go watch this in theaters. At least for me. Yeah. I the only thing I'm worried about or questioning is this it or are we getting another one after this? Hmm. Because I, I mean, it, I if it makes enough money. Uh, they can't stop it, right? They can't stop the train if it's making money. Who would? I mean, look at what they're doing to Fast and Furious. It they keep uh, making them because they keep making true. money on them. But, I mean, who who would be their their final boss or whatever? Because yeah, I, I I knew the one before wasn't going to be the last one because they had been building it up for so so many years, but I didn't know when they're going to end either. Is this going to be it? Is it going to be the next one? Or are they just going to keep the ball rolling until they start not making any money? That I, I'm assuming that's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. And as far as who the last boss is, I mean, they can bring back any any other monster, any other kaiju. Or if they really wanted to, they could just create an original monster and have them fight that. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of what they did in the first one, or first Godzilla, wasn't it? The one... I don't remember. I thought it was, wasn't it like Mothra and King Ghidorah? 
Crows. No, that that's the King of Monsters, which he's dead now. And so is Mothra. Hmm. Yeah. No, the first one, yeah. they didn't really name him, and it was kind of like a a kaiju that we've never really seen before. Hmm. It's almost like a half tarant- tarantula, pterodactyl type deal. Oh, yes, yes, yes you're right. You're it was right. like a duo. Yeah. Pterodactyl duo type deal. Yeah. I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's the first one where you only saw like eight minutes of Godzilla, which was the biggest complaint about everybody. <laughs> and it was too dark to watch the movie. Yeah. That was like, if you if you would say low budget movie, that's a low budget movie. <laughs> Just turn the darkness on and that's it. All you guys, a few flares, a few lights, and then the Godzilla's little laser beam. That's that's all you saw in the movie. And some explosions. AVP? Did anybody say oh, AVP? Geez, no, bring PTSD, dude. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm so mad. But yeah, that, that I'm one of those, dude. I did not enjoy the first Godzilla because it was so dark. So oh, so terrible. much was going on and you couldn't see. And it's like, man, I, I want to see what's I want to see the kaijus, man. I want to see them fight. That's oh. what I want. And so I, I had to watch that. the movie twice. Uh, so the first time I watched it, I watched it on my DLP. <laughs> and the DLP is already naturally like real dark. Mm-hmm. I could not see like 90 something percent of the movie. Yeah. Literally, you could. I turned the brightness all the way up. I still could not see at least 90 <laughs> percent of the movie. So I had to switch it over to the plasma back then. And then I was able to like see a few things. And I'm like, God damn, man, it's still dark as hell. <laughs> It's like, what the hell? And then, yeah, you go on the internet, oh, eight minutes of Godzilla. I'm like, <laughs> was it really only eight minutes? Yeah, it was eight minutes. That oh. was it. I'm like, God dang. Yeah. Uh, well, at least now they have Godzilla and Kong front and center. They're, they're not shy. Yeah. They're, they show them. So, yeah. you know, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I know it's out already, but I'm, I'm still looking forward to, to going to watch it myself. Been busy, man. Godzilla. And with that, gentlemen, we have run out of time. It is now time to close it down. Please visit us at www.thsfiles.com where you can listen to all of our prior episodes. We talk films, TV, anime, video games. We just have fun here, talk a lot of trash. Do yourself a favor, follow us on social media. Agent K, where can they find us? They can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, now X, TikTok, Threads, and YouTube. If you're looking for the uncensored episodes, you know, with all the bloopers and shisa in it, check us out on Patreon. Uh, if you are on the go, I mean, Aram, where can they find us? You can find us on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, YouTube Music, iHeartRadio, and Sweet Sweet Pandora. Sweet Pandora. <laughs> you love some Pandora? Who doesn't? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with y'all? <laughs> if you're looking to send the Hive Lord picks, you can send them all over to guns at the essay file. Oh. He said he likes them big, he likes them small, he likes them squeaky, mm. clean, dirty, oh. cheesy, greasy. Yeah. He likes them tuna oh. can size. He likes the micro. Oh. Oh. He likes Those are his favorite. BBs. <laughs> 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 he said the more pictures the better he said if you send him a video he will give you a rating within he'll turn it around with <laughs> within 24 wow hours. that's a quick turn he'll time. give you yeah, <laughs> you know because he gets so many that he's dedicated for those ratings he likes them dressed up he likes them with little top hats he likes them you know holiday themed also anything you got send it to him Ooh. I've lord. <laughs> I'm gonna have to send them one soon. Ooh. Uh, Guns at thesfiles.com. Guns at thesfiles.com. <laughs> For any other related, con- not non Hive Lord related photos, all of our emails can be found in the description below. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. This is Bogus Bird signing out. This is Aiden Casey, and see you later. It's Menorum signing out. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>